don't believe in shooting stars, but she believe in shoes and cars. Wood floors in the new apartment. Couture from the This is apartment. consumerism and the environment. The consumerist view in the Western world has had a negative effect on the environment over the past few decades. We will show you why. There has been a major power shift from the government to the corporations. The majority of the power now lies within the hands of these corporations. When compared to the national economies, 51% of corporations had more money than the governments. Obviously, more money means more power. Politicians were paid to lobby for the corporations. Even with the little power that the government has, it is being given away. Politicians are being paid to promote certain corporations, leading us to buy even more products and damaging the environment to an even greater extent. The government has interests other than trade for the prosperity of the nation, while corporations only care about trade, whether or not it concerns the health of the environment. If the power was with the government, the environment would be taken care of. The diet of Americans has an enormous impact on the environment as well. The meat industry has shifted to factory farming. John Krischer, professor of biology, said, Producing 8 ounces of beef requires 6,600 gallons of water, 95% of world's soybean crops are consumed by farm animals, and 16% of the world's methane is produced by livestock. Quote, Four Central American countries, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Nicaragua, and Honduras, were among the top 10 countries ranked by the percentage loss of forests during the period of 1981 to 1985. Costa Rica averaged an annual loss of 3.9% of its forests, largely due to the vast expansion of cattle ranching. By 1983, about 83% of Costa Rica forests had been felled, cut down, mostly for beef production, and much of that was shipped to the U.S. for use as hamburger." End quote. This cow raising is one of the many causes of deforestation. By ignoring the natural causes for deforestation such, such as cattle raising, urbanization, mining and oil exploitation, acid rain and fire, we are essentially promoting deforestation. Because of this, we are focusing only on major international economics and we are basically bringing on death ourselves. Quote, the authors fail to understand that a forest is not simply an area covered by trees and that the presence or absence of tree cover is but a part of the equation. A forest is an entire ecosystem, including people, fauna, flora, water, air, and soils. All these components are severely degraded by oil activities. People are killed, repressed, or expelled. Local animal and plant species are severely impacted and some driven to extinction. Water courses suffer pollution, siltation and alteration. The air becomes poisoned and so on." End quote. We are overproducing factory items and as a result we are overconsuming, but because we are so used to this overproduction we think that the amount we consume is normal. By doing this we are really contributing to the collapse of the economy and the environment. This overconsumption puts the nation in debt, leading to a deficit of land. Each person from a high consumption country requires 10 to 15 acres of land to maintain their consumption level. Americans generated 251 million tons of trash in 2006. This represents 4.6 pounds of garbage per person per day. 55% of garbage gets put in landfills. 12.5% of garbage goes to incinerators. Landfills can leak liquid into the groundwater. They release one-fourth of all methane. They make up 2.3% of greenhouse gas emissions in the U.S. Incinerators burn the garbage and turn it to ash. This ash is made up of chemicals such as nitrogen oxide and sulfur dioxide, which cause acid rain. In addition, if the trash goes to an incinerator, it gets dumped into a landfill anyway. So in brief, they have no purpose. There are many ways to improve methods of disposal, with one option being recycling, which uses less energy than landfills. We can create less greenhouse gases when we use recycled materials. There are fewer emissions from incinerators and landfills. If you use recycled materials opposed to unused materials, it uses 98% less energy. In addition, if you donate items as opposed to throwing them out, they will not need to be processed through a landfill or an incinerator. This will reduce the amount of greenhouse gases emitted as well. The methods we use to transport waste are also an issue. Trucks and trains carry the waste from location to location. They put gases into the atmosphere that contain nearly 40 toxic substances. These gases cause cancer in humans. Diesel trucks carry garbage the distance equivalent to circling the earth 312 times every year. This is equal to 7.8 million miles. Pop culture has an influence over the environment as well. We are intrigued by advertisements in the daily media and celebrities who can afford expensive purchases but eventually buying things repetitively creates an emotional cycle. 
As consumerism increases, happiness decreases. People become obese from eating highly processed foods and eating too much, which causes unhappiness. There is an endless cycle of working too hard, causing you to sit down and watch TV, where there are commercials, of course, and you feel like you need to buy whatever item is being shown. Then you go out and buy the item, and to pay for the item you've bought, you have to work more. It repeats over and over and over again. Items that were once considered luxuries are now being considered necessities. Resources are becoming more and more available, so more people want to have everything. This is not okay. We can stop this vicious cycle. There are many ways that we can help the world. The government can assert their power over the corporations and set aside certain areas for environmental protection. They can also regulate when certain commercials appear on television and in other areas of the media. This will help because corporations put commercials on at times when the mind of the consumer is most susceptible to the advertisements, like putting it on when children watch TV the most. Business corporations can use recycled materials and promote eco-friendly use of products. They can also slow down production, lessening consumerist views and using fewer materials in the process. Communities can donate used items, recycle materials, and not overconsume products or purchase things that they do not need. As a community, people can share items that are difficult to produce, use a lot of materials, or har harm the environment. This includes acts like carpooling. What can you do? As a consumer, you control your own mind. You can recycle materials, buy only what you need, get things that are only eco-friendly, and buy things that are used. You can also pay attention to packaging and donate your used items. So help the environment. Stop overconsuming. Thanks for watching.